is finally reopened we're so excited yeah so matt's been here i haven't been here yep. i'm just really excited to show it to you guys show you guys what they have and um you'll be here to kind of guide me along kind of take me on the process i'm pretty excited yep i think it's gonna be really good we're already checked in i think they're gonna call us any minute yep so we'll head in yep sounds good This is a pretty cool looking menu. You have the flying fish on there. You have like lions here. It's just a nice looking menu. The menu looks really good. There's a lot of things here to try. Goo and I kind of looked over the menu a little bit earlier. I think I'm going to go with the slow roasted pork belly for the appetizer. That sounds really good. I love pork belly. I'm excited to see how it is. And me loving soup, I had to try the lobster bisque. So I'm going to get the lobster bisque as well. Uh, but the menu looks great. Lots of seafood inspired menu items, which I'm really excited for. I'm excited to give it a try. Yeah, it'll be good. All right, so our server just came by, and this is pretty cool. He brought us these things, he said, to, uh, to freshen up before our meal. So I guess, I think you just pick this up and put it in there, and it grows into like a, a full oh, that's moist towel. That, that's really awesome. That's like magic right there. Um, and then the other thing he mentioned, he asked us which water he wanted. we wanted. He said they have a, um, a filtration system and they can do either still or sparkling water. So we got sparkling and I got yeah. still. I'm pretty excited to see how it is. That, that, yeah. I've, I've never had that before, so that's kind of interesting. This is great. The theming is great. The towel, look at this. It looks like a wave. Yeah. Kind of have like the things that remind you of fish. Yeah. Um, even the silverware. This is great. I'm yeah, kind of like scales on it. Yeah, this is great. I'm excited. There we go. How do you feel? You feel freshened already? Oh yeah. Yeah, I really yeah. do too. Um, but I, my water came here. This looks really great. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm excited to try this out. Overall, this is a great restaurant so far. It's not my favorite water I've ever had. It does have a little bit of an aftertaste, but um, I will say the feel on the tongue is still. It's smooth. It's refreshing. It's not like um, like Dasani. I feel like number one, it, it has an aftertaste, but it also has like a weird feel to it. Um, this is smoother, but it still has that aftertaste. So not my favorite, but not the worst ever. It's acceptable. Try the sparkling here. Uh, very smooth. Definitely get the sparkling there. It's not amazing, but it's good. I enjoy it. They also brought out a cocktail menu, and they do have like a lot of different um, spirits and specialty cocktails. One really interesting thing is they have um, rare wines by the glass. So they have that thing over there where they have bottles of rare wine and you can order it by the glass so you kind of have a chance to try some more expensive um, some more expensive wines without having to buy an entire bottle or an entire glass. So that's kind of cool. I like that. I might have to try that. All right, so we did place our orders for our appetizers. I ended up going with the lobster bisque with the sambuca and chive oil. Um, and then you went with the pork belly, right? Yep, I got the pork belly and he said they, um, they cure it in-house and it has a cherry blaze on it, so it sounds really good. Yeah. And then it had some kind of slaw that he said was slightly pickled, um, so I'm really curious to try that. Yeah. We'll see. Well, both of these look really good. I think for entrees, uh, at least I'm thinking for the potato wrapped red snapper, which is actually one of their uh, signature dishes here. Yeah. I'm really excited to try these out. Yeah. And um, so far, so good. This is great. Yeah. Yeah, he said they were really well known for that one, so I'm, I'm gonna have to steal some of yours. And yeah, try yeah. it for myself too. Hey, sounds good. And I'm gonna go with the um, the seafood pearl pasta, which has shrimp, lobster, scallops, clams, and mussels. So you kind of get to try a little bit of everything, which I'm really excited for. It sounds fantastic. I think that's what I had last time I was here. Yep. That's gonna be good. Sounds good. But yeah, I'm really excited. Actually, the red snapper has a leek fondue, and uh, 
Cassis red wine production, which I'm really excited for. Looks really good. I'm really excited to see how things come out. But until then, we'll see you guys then. I also wanted to say, we're sitting right next to the bar right here. Um, just the decoration, the decor of this whole restaurant is really great. I like how they have like the bottles on the ceiling there, uh, kind of reflecting really nicely off the light, along with like the, the flooring there, the side. It just really sets a good atmosphere. Uh, this is fantastic. I'm really excited. All right, so Matt here, looks like you got a wine. I did. Here to explain. And so this this was one of the um, the rare wines. I got a five ounce pour, it was $25 I believe. So he said it, this is from New Zealand and they're known around the world for their Sauvignon Blanc. So I'm really excited to give this one. Yeah. I don't know a whole lot about wine, so I'm not really gonna be able to give you much of a review, but I just wanted to get it just to, just to try it because I think the concept seems pretty cool. It's really smooth, it has a nice, a nice flavor. Um, Kind of some tropical fruit flavors. It's kind of hard to identify exactly which ones, but it, it kind of gives me like a tropical fruit vibe, like something you would get um, like on a beach somewhere, like in Hawaii or something. It's good. I enjoy it a lot. All right, so we got the bread service here. So we have some butter here, and it has parsley and some salt on it. And then we also have this bread here, and it is from a local Orlando bakery, which is kind of cool. I think they said it was Old Park or something like that. Old Park Bakery. And it, it's a potato and chives bread, so it, it's kind of interesting. I don't know. I'm excited to give it a try. Yeah, it seems like every single bread service at all restaurants around here are just kind of playing for me. Yeah, I'm excited. I hope this uh, lives up to the expectations here. That's really nice. This bread is really nice. It seems like a lot of the time it can be hard to get like that perfect combination of kind of like um, crispy and like firm without being too tough. This bread does that really nicely. It's not not too tough at all. The butter is really nice. I just heard someone say they whip it here in house. So everything here is just fantastic. I just um, it just it just keeps coming. I just everything is so incredible and surprising. I'm liking this a lot. Bread tastes very fresh. Um, the butter is very creamy. There's a good uh, creamy aspect to it. It's just great quality. Just a good bread service here. I will say, I'm not sure exactly what the spices are in this bread, but it goes very nicely with the butter. Uh, not too, not too extreme, but just simple, good, great bread service. I'd say. All right, so I have to who's did come here. So you got the pork belly right there. Yeah. Um, it, the it, menu really wasn't very descriptive as far as a lot of things, but um, it described the pork belly. It said that there was the cherry glaze on it and the slaw. Um, I don't believe it said anything about this. It looks like maybe a, a potato or croquette of some kind. I think it's gonna go really well with it. Yeah. It, it looks fantastic. It smells great. I'm excited to give it a try. Yeah, that looks great. I also got right here, this is the lobster bisque, uh, which looks fantastic. Usually yeah. every time I get lobster bisque, it's very ordinary, very average. Uh, this may be, um, this is very promising. I'm excited, I'm excited to kind of try it out. But overall, here's our appetizers. We'll try them out, we'll let you guys know what we think. Let's see. That's perfect. I mean, the texture is perfect. The flavor is perfect. It goes so well together. The cherry glaze has a little bit of tartness, but it's not by any means overwhelming. You get all the flavors. They work so well together. The texture is just phenomenal. I love this. I like this a lot. Um, I'm blown away. That's fantastic. Who's got this soup here? I'm gonna give it a try. Yeah. Let me try it out. But the, there's some olive oil in here too, so Ooh. I'm trying to kind of get a little bit of everything in my yeah. um, sip here. So. Is that as good as you hoped? A lot of really good flavors in here. Um, usually when there's a lot, it could be too much. I don't think this is too much at all. You get the saltiness of the lobster there. The olive oil is very nice. I think there's something else in here. I'm not 100% sure. But um, overall, it's really, really good lobster bisque. I'm impressed. That all? I will say one thing. Um, the plate is kind of warm. The lobster bisque would prefer it to be a little bit hotter. Um, it's good. It's very good. But 
it's um, closer to, it's warm, so that's my only complaint here. Very, very good though. Really impressed. Well, if you didn't believe me, I did like this dish, you know. I think it's pretty clear here, but as of Matt's dish, he's getting towards it. He's, he's getting through it. I'm eating a little slower, but yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I'm I'm really happy with this. Yeah, so far so good. Any anything wrong with it? Anything you could say negative? Not really. Um, I mean, even the the pickle slaw, whatever it is. Normally, I'm not a big fan of that kind of stuff, but that goes really nicely with it. Um, the flavor, the texture, just everything works well together. Um, yeah. I like it a lot. This is great. I'm really excited for entrees. Uh, we're currently going to wait for those, but that being said, this is continuing to fulfill our expectations, maybe even more. Oh, so, sure. this is great. Alright, so our entrees have finally came. Um, so that's the pasta, right? This is the seafood pasta. It looks really good. It has like these um, pasta pearls. Kind of looks like couscous, but it smells really, it smells fantastic. You get to try a little bit of everything. I'm excited. This yeah, is going to be really good. For sure. And then I got the red snapper here, uh, which looks fantastic. You have a good sauce here. Um, also got a side of uh, charred octopus too. Yeah. So we're going to kind of share that a little bit. But overall, this looks very good. It's potato, potato wrap. So I'm really excited to try this out. This looks fantastic. But yeah, we'll let you guys know what we think. Going in for the scallops. Yep. That's good. I'm, it, it's cooked nicely. The sauce goes really well with it. I'm not sure exactly what the sauce is. I'll have to check if it says. But um, overall, everything here has been really fantastic so far. I like this a lot. It's good. I'm going to try one of the shrimp now real quick. That's nice. It has the perfect amount of firmness to it. Really good flavor. It goes fantastic with the sauce and the pasta. has a nice... Um, Nice fishy flavor, but not too much, not not overwhelming at all. Here's one of the uh, the mussels. I will say the mussels themselves can seem kind of small compared to what I'm used to, but the flavor is there. The flavor is nice. We got a um, a clam here as well. Good flavor, exactly what you would expect from a clam. Everything is nice. I mean. Really good dish. I'm happy with this. I'm, I'm glad I got it. Yeah. Yours looks really good too. Yeah, mine looks great. I'm excited to get it to mine. Yeah. But um, yeah, I guess I'll put you guys down. We'll try it out. And it sounds pretty good. Right, so let's try this out. You have a good amount of texture. You have um, yeah, this looks fantastic. This is very good. Uh, very good crispiness to it. The, um, the edges of it are very crispy. Good flavor too. Um, it's not too fishy. It's not too non-fishy. Just overall, really good dish. The sauces here work very nicely together. Um, yeah, I, I just, the only thing I will complain about, I do wish the sauces were kind of incorporated better a little bit because I feel like I'm having most of the time, I have to mix more sauce onto my fish, um, which is a little unfortunate here, but I think once you do get everything together, very decent dish, very enjoyable. Meanwhile, since I've tried most of my uh, main entree here, I did get the add-on, the enhancement, of the octopus here, which looks very interesting. I honestly, I don't think I've tried octopus at all, so uh, I'm kind of scared and excited to try this. But yeah, I'm really excited to try this out. I'll let you guys know what I think. There you go, there's a little bit of the octopus there. I'm really excited to try this out. What do you think of it? Very chewy. It was really good, it had a weird texture. I think I'm not really used to trying this kind of food, so I'm gonna leave it to Matt to kind of explain it, but um, overall, Good flavor here. Um, just a little bit of a chewy texture, which I uh, wasn't expecting. Before I talk about the octopus, I will mention the, um, the lobster real quick. It wasn't my favorite. It was probably my least favorite of all the seafood options on here. Um, the texture was just a little bit more firm than I would have preferred. And also the flavor, it was just, it was a very aggressive flavor, more than you would normally expect with lobster. Not terrible, but I, I don't think I would order that again, the lobster itself. Everything else on the dish is fantastic. I really enjoyed it, and actually really enjoyed the octopus as well. It had a little bit of a seafood flavor, and it went really nice with the char. If it's a texture you're not used to, you might not be super happy with it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed those.
because um, I enjoy those types of foods, so I really enjoyed it. I thought the flavor, the texture, everything was spot on. Really enjoyable. There you go, overall, it's been a pretty good meal. I'm really excited for dessert. Oh, yeah. One thing I will say about the octopus, I don't think I'm in a position to review it. I don't know if I've ever had anything like octopus before in my life. So, that being said, though, it was a little colder for my liking. Uh, it wasn't, it could have been, I just made a sip because I ate it last. But overall, it did feel a little bit uh, less warm compared to the other dish. And it could be because it was an enhancement. This was an extra $20 for the octopus. Uh, it could be they just paired it separately, put it on the same plate. Um, that's probably the only complaint I have here. Pretty good taste, pretty good texture. Um, very enjoyable. Oh, that looks really good. I'm excited to try that. so much. Alright, so if you guys haven't noticed, our dessert finally did come. Uh, right here, this is the 50th anniversary Midnight Lemon. Um, I guess it's kind of like a mousse, I, I'm guessing? Yeah, it was a, yeah. a lemon mousse on top of um, some sort of cake. Yeah. A vanilla cake. This looks fantastic. I'm really excited. Um, but yeah, you also got the, what was this, the Cocoa Breach? This was, was the Cocoa Breach, yep. Yeah. I, it's some kind of, um, I guess, a chocolate cake, and then it has some vanilla custard here as well. So it looks really good. Yeah, I'm excited to get this uh, chocolate. You guys saw as they poured the chocolate on top. Yeah, or yeah. like the sauce on top. That was very, very great. Yeah. Um, great presentation here. I'm excited to try these out. Mm. We're gonna get some of this. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Should I try to get some of the vanilla custard oh, yeah, as well? Sure. There we go. Let's see. That's really nice. It has a little bit of like a, a creamy texture, but it's also a little crunchy on the inside. You get the chocolate, but it's not too too much chocolate, like too forward with the cocoa. I think it's a really nice balance, um, texture-wise, flavor-wise. This is an enjoyable dessert. I'm happy with this. All right, Goo's gonna try his um, his lemon mousse now. I already looks broke good. the stick here, but yeah, I don't know what the stick is. Trying to get a little bit of everything in this thing, so it's gonna be some of the berries there, sauce. Let's see. That's pretty good. It seems like whenever you have lemon, it's so aggressive, it's so strong. It's very tame. It's very good. Uh, flavors go good with the berries. The cake in there, very light, very fluffy. It goes really good with the mousse. It's nothing like really fantastic, but it's really nice. Uh, really, it, nothing's really wrong with it at all. Uh, it's a nice dessert for sure. I also did get the two ounce more of the Remy Martin DSOP, which there's not really a whole lot to say about it. It is what it is. I mean, I, I enjoy it. I like it a lot. But I was really glad to see that they did have a decent menu of different drinks you can get for dessert. They also had different, um, like Kahlua and different stuff like that. So, um, really nice, really. Really decent. I'm happy with that. I will say also, the more I do try this lemon mousse here, the more I do like it. It's very good. It's very flavorful. Uh, the lemon's very nice. It's just a very, very toned down, uh, really enjoyable dessert. I will say, I do, I do think whenever Disney tries with the 50th anniversary on a lot of their desserts, sometimes it's a little too, a little too much, or sometimes it's not as good as like the premiums are offering, such as Matt's right here. But I think this one was very good, pretty good option. That's. Um, Definitely not as like strong as a chocolate cake like that, but um, it's still very good. With that, our meal has come to an end. It was really enjoyable. I think pretty much everything was spot on exactly as I would have wanted it. We'll talk a little bit more about that outside, but I'm really happy this place is reopened. I'm, I'm excited to be here and I'm excited to come back. So I guess we'll see you guys out there. All right, so we just got out. So overall, what do you think? I thought everything was very good. I thought it was fantastic. Um, the appetizers were great. The entrees, everything with the exception of I had a little issue with lobster, but it really wasn't that big of a problem. Yeah. The dessert was fantastic. I really liked that a lot. Um, everything was just the service, the food, 
everything just blew me away. It, yeah. was, it was better than I expected. Yeah, I think. for sure. I think overall for me personally, uh, the atmosphere was great. The service was great, as Matt said. Uh, it was just a really enjoyable meal. One of my personal favorites here at Walt Disney World. And us being, we're good to you. Sometimes we do get pretty strict with our rating systems. Yeah. Um, that being said, though, uh, honestly, this was probably one of the best meals we've had on Disney property. Yeah. At least for me, uh, which I really appreciate. That being said, I'm going to give it a out of five. We're going to get a five. I'm going to give it a 4.1. 4.1. Um, very, very good. Very solid. Um, maybe even a 4.2 if, if we're kind of being generous in that range. But um, it did get to that range. It was one of the best meals here. So yep. there you go. I think I'll give the 4.2. Yeah. I think for me, definitely. It, it was it was about to get a four three yeah. or four. Yeah, for I just too. had a little issue with the lobster. Yeah. Um, nothing really else to complain about though. I mean yeah. I thought everything else was phenomenal. Yeah, for sure. That being said though, everything blew me away. I think the atmosphere was so great and the food was so great as well. Yeah. And I love their location. We're next to Epcot right on the boardwalk. Uh, this is great, one of my favorite restaurants. I'm glad Matt convinced me to go. Yeah. And um, yeah, for sure, this is probably one of my favorites. I can't wait to come back. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe. We have a lot more coming up in the next weeks. So a lot of restaurants reopening or changing their menus, and we're gonna be at all of them. So you definitely wanna follow along so you can see all of them. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, I'm Goo. I'm Matt. And you're you. And we both wish a goo to each and every one of you. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you guys later. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching.